Many have argued that providers who act unlawfully should be held accountable. I totally agree that all Americans, including corporate citizens, must follow the law and be held accountable for their failures. Companies that deliberately seek to evade privacy laws, laws or legal restrictions on electronic surveillance can and should be subject to civil suit. But that is not the issue here, I would say to the presiding officer. That is not the issue. The Intelligence Committee spent a lot of time, as I've indicated, this year looking into what happened over the past six years. We're getting very vigorous in our oversight, and that's now thoroughly underway. Before deciding to provide liability protection for the companies, the Intelligence Committee heard testimony from relevant witnesses, carefully reviewed the, rev the written communications provided to participants in the program. Uh, participants were sent letters, all of which stated that the relevant activities had been authorized by the President and all but one, and that was done by the legal counsel to the President, of which stated that the activities had been determined to be lawful by the Attorney General of the United States. Shouldn't private companies be entitled to rely on the written representation of the highest levels of government officials that their cooperation is necessary and has been determined to be lawful? Can you argue that if they get those um, notifications from the NSA director, then it's been approved by the Attorney General and has been declared essential for the national interest by the President? Should they rather in turn say, oh, well, that's incidental. We don't really care about that. That's not our business. Uh, we're not going to do that. And isn't it reasonable to assume that a U.S. citizen who has been told that the Attorney General has found their cooperation to be lawful is acting in good faith? If they've been through this process and they, and they proceed to act on it, why is it so easy to stipulate that they're not acting in good faith? How does one show that? How does one imagine that? Just, well, I've been through this. I mean, this whole question of what the companies get from it, this is the thing that bothers me so much. They get nothing but grief. They get suits. They get costs. They get a diminished reputation. They begin to pull away. Um, their shareholders lose confidence. Do they get money? No. If they have a specific procedural process to do, they get paid for that specific procedural process, but that's outside of what I'm talking about. They get nothing. So why would they want to continue to cooperate? Would be my question. The answers to these questions are at the heart of the Intelligence Committee's determination that it is essential that Congress protect private companies who assisted the government after the terrorist acts of 